thanks for attending um, or coming to our interview. If you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and the groups that you run to start with. So I'm Claire, I run Feel Good Health and Fitness, which is an online and face-to-face -face fitness group. So um, I started online during COVID, uh, during lockdown. I was doing um, online classes on Facebook Live for children and their parents and suddenly thought one day, I wonder if any of my friends on Facebook would like a workout. We're all sitting at home, we can't do anything. So I put it out there to people and it just was fantastic. Every Friday, all through the first lockdown, which was however many weeks, every Friday morning we'd all come together and work out. And from there, uh, Feel Good Health and Fitness was born really, uh, and on the last day of lockdown I said to everyone this is going to be the last online workout that we're going to do and um, so many people contacted me and said will you carry on, I don't want it to stop, there were over a hundred people every week came together, people that were in lockdown, people that were looking after people that were isolating, people that were really struggling with the mental health and asked if I'd carry on and I thought well yeah okay. <laughs> so. Um, contacted people to help me to start an online fitness group and the online I'm so happy to say is as popular now two years later as it was when we started at the beginning when no one could go anywhere but online and then from there um, as the world opened up properly and gyms and exercise classes started to open up again I thought well we'll expand people will want face to face they'll want that human connection, that contact. So face-to-face um, -face classes started as well. So we went from online Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and face-to-face -face classes are now on a Wednesday and a Saturday. So we have, you can do a mixture of both, you can just do online or Zoom. I have ladies that are in London, Cornwall, or Devon, or Spain. They do the Zoom classes. And I have other ladies that do a mixture of the online classes face-to-face -face classes, um, we have social events, I help people with nutritional support and it's just everything I dreamed it would be, the most wonderful group of supportive, friendly, welcoming, like-minded women who have all known what it's like to struggle, to, to want to exercise but not to know how to do it and um, and we've all got fit and feel great together. It's lovely. And what type of um, fitness is it? Is it aerobics or? It's a complete mixture. I never want anyone to come and think, oh, we did this. Mm. So I mix it up mm. all the time. Um, we'll do, uh, we have free weights. As you, be, as you get older, it's really important that you lift weights. People think lifting weights is going to make you big and bulky. It isn't. It's going to make you lean and it's going to make you strong. And the older we get as women, the more porous our bones become with the menopause. So it's really important that we strengthen them with weights. Mm -hmm. So we have free weights, resistance training with resistance bands. And people think, what's that piece of elastic going to do when they are really, really effective? Um, hit sessions, circuit sessions, every class is different. Every class you work hard, every class is different and really good fun. And you mentioned the um, links of mental health and that's part of why we're doing this. Yes, absolutely. Um, what do you feel for the classes that you run is the helping in terms of mental health? You feel so lifted, A, by moving and exercising and the endorphins that that releases, and B, by working out with such a brilliant group of women. Um, the, the things that people say to me are virtually always the same. I don't know what, I won't know what to do, I don't know how to do it. Everyone's gonna be looking at me. I don't know anyone. And I really urge people to be brave and just come to one class. And yes, you're going to be nervous. We're all nervous of the unknown. And you're going to be nervous and you're not going to know what to do. But I'm so aware of how nervous people are because that was once me. And I'm so aware of you walking in to a room where all women are chatting and you don't know any of them and something's coming up and you have no idea what's coming up. 
Can you do it? Are you going to survive? <laughs> and when you overcome that fear and you come to the class and you achieve what you thought you could achieve and you become better and quicker and fitter, it gives you the most unbelievable lift. And each class is so happy that you leave feeling on a high. You really do feel on a high. You feel so happy. And everyone supports everybody else. There is no one that isn't rooting for the person next to them. It's the most inclusive, supportive group. It really is. And I think when you've been so nervous to do something, your own sense of pride and achievement that you've stepped out of your comfort zone and you've done it just gives you the biggest boost. And it's so important for mental health. The less you do, the less you want to do. You sit at home, you want to do things, you just, some people just can't. They can't take themselves out to do it. I'll help you do it. Yeah. I'll help you feel better. And the Zoom option to get them to that stage as well. Absolutely. The Zoom option is um, the ladies that started on Zoom with me at the beginning when no one had any choice. It was Zoom or it was sitting in Chris on the sofa. And the people that started Zoom with me two years ago, there are still all those ladies still doing the Zoom option. As some just do Zoom, some do a mixture of both, as I said before. But you don't feel that you are in your living room or your own or your kitchen or your bedroom. You actually feel like you are in a room full of the other women that are on that Zoom workout with you and you have just as big a sense of happiness and achievement after a Zoom as you do after a face-to-face. -face. It's just fantastic. It really, really works well. Brilliant. Um, what do you think it's brought for you leaving? What benefits have you got? Oh my goodness. Obviously quite clear on some of the answers already. But yeah. Um, if you'd told me 10 years ago that this is what I'd be doing. I would never have believed you in a million years. 10 years ago, I was a size 18, and I remember being out in a restaurant and looking in the mirror at the side of me and thinking, that's not me, that can't be me. And from that, the seed was planted in my head, I've got to do something, I'm not going to, I'm not getting any younger, I'm not getting any smaller, and I'm certainly not getting any fitter. So I thought, right, I've got to do something. So I started to exercise and I started to get fit myself and I had no faith in myself whatsoever. I wouldn't buy any fitness clothes. I had one t-shirt and one pair of tracksuit bottoms, size 18 size of bottoms and an extra large t-shirt. And I used to go to the classes and do them and couldn't walk, couldn't sit on the loo with them. <laughs> Absolutely killing me, the dreaded muscle aches. And the next class had come along and I'd think, oh, I'm going to the class again. I've got to go, I've got to go and do it. And my, my tracksuit bottom started to get smaller, so I'd get a safety pin and make them smaller and smaller and keep bringing them in and bringing them in. So 